Hello. Wow, I look very weird. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Stability. We don't know who it is. Um, okay. Love, love, love this. This is really wide. Should we bring it in? Maybe not tilt it as much? Should we bring it out? Maybe that. Maybe that. Very that. Okay, so. Hi, guys. Welcome back. Oh, look at the camera this time. Um, this is gonna be a weekend reading vlog probably i guess technically i mean for all purposes we're gonna call it a weekly reading vlog but it is friday currently friday what friday may 14th so i just got home from work i have been working non-stop this week i have been absolutely swamped and honestly i have had a great time with it because it's all really fun stuff now that testing has settled for the moment. It's all about my kids graduating and award ceremony and nominating my kids for awards and stuff. So it's just been like a fun week. But I will be getting back into uh, stressful times soon and I wanted to take this weekend to just kind of chillax before that happens next week. So, um, yeah, this is probably gonna be a really relaxed reading vlog. I've been very relaxed on my reading this month in general. I think I've only finished one book, and because June is gonna be my first month off, this is really bothering me. Like, I kinda hate how far away it is. Uh, because it's gonna be my first month off, I know I'm gonna read more then, hopefully. And you know what? Even if I don't, that's okay too. But I'm gonna do an update on what I'm reading because I have three things to unbox and show you guys. So it is an Illumicrate unboxing, a Fairy Loot unboxing, and then I have one more thing to unbox. It's from a publisher, Macmillan, but I don't know what is inside of it. So we will see together what is inside of that. Uh, but those will be timestamped down below if you want to skip certain ones or you can just get to probably what will be the update for tomorrow. But today I got home from work. I actually picked up an audiobook on the way home. Let me see how far into it I am because I'm really liking this. So I kind of want to maybe keep listening to it until we go to my mom's. We're going to go over there to eat dinner and watch the woman in the window movie. But I picked up the X Talk. I have this book from Libro FM. I'm already liking it. I have never listened to romance um, on audio, really. But I was in my car. It popped up on my little screen. I saw that in this thriller that I'm reading, which is... I don't even know what the thriller is. I'll just put it here. It's not great. I'm not having a great time. Domestic thrillers are probably some of my favorite thrillers. I really like domestic psychological thrillers, but this is just not the best I've ever read in my life. I also did not love Never Have I Ever, which was the first book that she put out, so maybe that's why. Maybe this author's not for me, but I'm gonna try to get through it. But for now, I'm gonna keep on going with this one. Um, I don't know if I want to switch over to reading it physically because I just I want to read it really fast, or if I'll keep with the audiobook. I just don't love audiobooks for romance because, you know, some things I just don't want to hear. You know? You know. So this is what I'm listening to slash that thriller I mentioned, but I don't know how much I'll actually listen to that. And then I also have The Hand on the Wall, which is the third book in the Truly Devious series. I'm reading this for my Patreon's buddy read. I am reading this with the patrons over there, and I'm on chapter eight, page 103. Um, I'd like to finish this this weekend because wouldn't it be nice to just finish a book? I think so. I'd feel productive. I'd feel completed. I'd feel like I did something. Other than that, I don't really have a whole lot of reading updates for you because I have not been doing a whole lot of other reading. So I guess now we're going to get into the unboxing. So first I'm going to unbox this random box that kind of got a little beat up in the mail because I don't 
know what it is. I have an idea of what it could be because I was contacted by a publisher for something that is very exciting, but I don't know if this is it. So let's, let me open this. Let me not point the knife at me. That only took forever. Ooh, let me put mine. Sorry, Discord's going crazy. Okay. <gasps> it is the thing I was excited about. What the heck is that over there? I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so it is the Stay Sexy and Don't Get Murdered box. This is so cool because I literally just listened to the episode from yesterday, this morning on the way to work, and they were talking about this giveaway, and I guess this is the giveaway. So it is for their book that just came out. Well, the paperback just came out. The original book came out ye while back. But this is so exciting. So Stay Sexy, Don't Get Murdered is the book by the ladies that host My Favorite Murder. It is one of my favorite podcasts. I really, really like it. So I was so excited and also shocked when they reached out to me to send me this because honestly, it feels like I've made it. <laughs> Will they ever see this? No. But do I love them? Yes. And I'm hoping that they come to Texas again soon because I've been to two live shows so far and I want to go to another one. But this time I want to get good seats because, oh, last time in Frisco, these people were so, so far gone on the $20 drinks that they had there that they were selling that they literally were screaming at everything. It was crazy. But this is the first thing that's in the box. So it's some stickers, which I love. I'm going to put these on my iPad, which is where, you know, I read most of my books. It's essentially my Kindle. Although I do have a Kindle. I just don't use my Kindle like a Kindle. And then there are these headphones in there, which is really cool. I, I mean, they look just like AirPods. I don't know if they're the same thing, but they seem quite similar. And on the actual case, it says, stay sexy and don't get murdered by Georgia Hardstark and Karen Kilgariff. These look just like AirPods. Um, I'll probably end up giving these to my partner, actually, because I have headphones. But they also like the podcast, too. So that's that's fun. I like that. <gasps> and socks. Oh, my. Ooh, long socks. Oh, these are so cute. They're designed in Austin, Texas. Hey. But they have Miss Karen. And then they have Georgia. And then here it says, my favorite murder on the bottom. And these are tall and I like them a lot. And then we have some M&Ms. Listen, okay, that's cute. And then, is this a flashlight? Oh my God, it's a reading light. Oh, that's cool. So it's a reading light that says, um, effing hooray, which is kind of like their weekly, like, oh, a good thing happened to me. And then they talk about it on the podcast. So that is neat as well. And then finally, I have the actual copy of the book. Let me just, I have the actual copy of the book. So I do have a hardcover of this already, but you know, maybe, maybe I'll write in this. I don't know. Maybe I'll give it away. I don't know. We'll see. If I do, that'll be hosted on Instagram, which is where I post all of them. But look how beautiful they are. Look at them. Oh my God. I just... This is exciting. This is really exciting to me. I don't know. I don't know. It's just it's like my two worlds are colliding. Podcasts and books. <laughs> so yeah, I do hope to read this soon. I'm halfway through it. I just paused it because my audio was not working for the audiobook. I don't really know why. It's been fixed since. I just, you know, haven't restarted it. But I'm going to very soon. Now that that's done. Let's get in to are these books that I just received. Oh, these are some books that I received from Penguin. So I'll show you these. Um, I do not know a whole lot about them, but this one kind of seemed like, I don't want to call it chiclet, but it's kind of like literary fiction about typically a young adult woman like late 20s, early, mid 30s, just going through life and stuff. And this seemed like that same vibe. So I, I wanted it. And it is the bookshop of second chances. So they sent me this one. And then I also got the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which I just, I think, first of all, look how beautiful this is. Like it's such a pretty cover. I love this edition. 
<gasps> oh my god. And inside is so beautiful. Look at that. Is it? Sh I hope it's showing up. But that is really, really pretty. This is not something that I have read before, but I was like, I saw it on the list and I saw that it was a cool addition and I was like, you know what? Why not? Why not try this book with this beautiful edition? Apparently it is the 42nd anniversary of this classic. So I did want to read more classics. I guess this would count. And then I got a book that I pre-ordered, which is While Justice Sleeps by Stacey Abrams, who we all know and love on this channel. Right? Right. I admire her. I do. What can I say? Uh, and then I heard that she was writing a political thriller. It's over. But seri oh, sealed it, sealed it. Was from celebrated national leader and best-selling author Stacey Abrams, While Justice Sleeps is a gripping, complexly plotted thriller set within the halls of the U.S. Supreme Court. Which, I mean... I can see I I can see how that would be a really good setting for a thriller, but I don't know exactly how it's going to play out. So I I'm I'm excited to jump into this one. So this one may be coming up soon. I don't know. I'm in a very like I'm trying not to read a lot of fantasy this month. I've actually decided which I know. Olivia, you just put up your TBR. There's a lot of fantasy on it. True. However, I want to read so much more in June that I'm hoping that maybe if I just chillax then I will not overwhelm myself with too much fantasy now and then not want to read it in June. The logic. It's lacking but it is there technically. Technically it's there. Yeah it is. And then Sourcefire Books also sent The Nature of Witches and this one y'all look at under this cover like it has this beautiful design it goes all around the book. It is so pretty, but uh, it was. I just thought that it was about witches and this girl who basically has powers and she, she's about to go through it, I guess. That's what I'm assuming. So we are going to go to Illumicrate first because they are my favorite book box. I do have a code down below. They are making their way through their uh, wait list right now. I don't know if it's open for you to join, but they are sending out emails And so I would just probably keep up with their Instagram. Honestly. Hello. Thank you I would keep a watch on their Instagram because that's really where they tend to update the most about Their wait list and that's where you can see like in real time what it's at But code down below if you make it on there if you want to get some money off of your subscription for a couple months and without further ado Let's get into this month's box. So this month is April's. It's the Dearly de oh, dearly Departed box. Next month for May, which technically is this month, is Change Your Stars. So beautiful pamphlet. We're just going to guess through all of this. Does that sound good? Sounds like it could be bad, but we're going to try. So we have these bookmarks up first. That's one side. And then we have these guys on the other side, which... I mean, these are gorgeous. Already, I don't know where these are from, so let's take a little peek to peek. <laughs> it doesn't say on our pamphlet. So we're going to just keep it pushing. So next up, I have a keychain that is a, oh, 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 a sigh, which is pretty cool looking. And then... This is the monthly pin that they always have that goes with the book for that month. We also have two magnets that are from Gideon the 9th, I believe. So I'm going to definitely be putting these on the fridge and my office because that's where I put the other ones that I got with this book box. Then we have a mason jar, which I already looked at this. <sighs> Y'all, do you see what it's inspired by? Do you see what that? It's inspired by the beautiful. Is that not... Like, this is, this is the new coffee. This is the new coffee jar. And I'm just, I'm so happy. I'm so happy with this. Like, I'm torn between do I want to put just bookmarks in it and keep it, like, clean forever and ever, amen? Or do I want to drink from it? We're going to drink from it. We are. Cheers. Then we have another one of their, uh, what do they call these? A book pot. Which, you know, honestly, I was thinking about planting something in here because that would be kind of cute, especially because this one is the Book of the Dead and then it has the spine. 
and then the back and then it's just right now I have all of my Tombow pins in it and I have that on my desk but the I don't I don't need three of them oh wait I actually have a bunch of neutral Tombows that I do need a home for so this actually works out perfectly but then if they do more which they do these fairly regularly um I don't know where it's gonna go but that seems like a future problem doesn't it it did to me too so then we have a I think this is a organizer I don't know what kind of organizer though it's just like a little organizer thing inspired by never night but what is it too many books organizer a canvas book organizer inspired by never night to store your current TBR anything else you choose so oh, that's kind of cool so it's just like this little bag and it looks like this let's do that looks like that and then also some of that and this is pretty as well I don't really know it kind of reminds me of the purse organizers that I have for like my really big bag because it would get very chaotic and disorganized if I did not have that in there but I don't think that would fit in there or would look good <laughs> in that purse actually now that I think about it then let me open the book as always Illumicrate did something extra with this book and it looks beautiful ah, always 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 but this is called in the ravenous ravenous dark hello um on the back I think it's sapphic because it says she loves a princess she's bound to a warrior she must betray them both sounds great to me here's I'm assuming some artwork from it which I really like this art style and then inside we have this on the end papers Ooh, it's not signed on mine, but look, a family tree, and there's people marked out. Mysterious. But yeah, this is beautiful. This is a very nice, very ominous looking cover with like the skull flowers and... Okay, okay, I will keep an eye on this one. So then after that, we have the fairy loot box for this month fairy loot does not send me these um i paid for this myself so i hope that i like it because i paid for it but this is the card for this month the theme is hidden identities so let's just get on in here so the first thing i see is a cherry blossom soap which is inspired by flame in the mist this is by my queen renee audier if you haven't read it what are you doing what are you doing you need to read it Okay, thank you. And then we have another little paper bag that I will be saving for my journal. Because honestly, I can't find good ones anywhere except for in these boxes. This is a David Bod pen, which I feel like the universe is a little bit calling me out here because I have not finished Kingdom of Copper yet. I hear you. I see you. I'm ignoring you. Next up, we have a tote bag. I don't know what to do with my mini totes. I just have like seven of them at this point. This one is from Blood and Ash. Yes, it's from Blood and Ash. We got Poppy. We got Hot on there. It's a nice art style as well. Now, here we have some shiny, 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 super shiny bookmarks. And I need to look at my handy dandy paper because I do not know who these people are. But they are gorgeous. These bookmarks are gorgeous. I think that is, um, that looks like the person from, what is this called? An Ember in the Ashes. Let's see, where's my note card? Do, do, do. The Poppy War, Blood Air, and An Ember in the Ashes. Well, there you go. I haven't read The Blood Air or Poppy War, but I do want to read Poppy War soon. So now I have a bookmark to go with it while I read it. Fantastic. Then we have the, oh my, hello, the tarot cards for this month. I do not know who these people are, so we're going to be checking it again. Jake Gars, what are you doing? Oh, Serpent and Duff. That's another book I need. Oh, I need to catch up on this series. I feel like, what is that, third book coming out soon? Slow down. Then we have, look at this beautiful art. Like, that is, oh my god. Um, I've, I think I've said this before, but I've decided to definitely extend the, like, eclectic wall thing i kind of want to make my entire wall covered in them except for like right around my reading nook just to give it some space of chillness but i just think that it would look so cool to have it 
like that. I need to clear these shelves and like really clean them up though so there's not too much chaos going on. But I think that it would look really cool to have that like all of them displayed that way. Then we have these beautiful bookends which these really go with the kind, sort of color scheme. I wouldn't call it a color scheme. That's pretty bold. But the kind of just the, the tones of our living room. So I think that I will end up putting that in our living room because I really like those. Let me see what that one was inspired by. Oh, Lord of the Rings. That's perfect. That's one of my partner's favorite books. So definitely should be in the living room. Did you bring your toy in here? Oh, well, that's so nice of you. Thank you kindly, Jake. Then uh, we have the rest of the book box. We've got some bookmarks. We've got some books, as you do in a book box. Then we have the little fire scoop right here. Uh, we got the author interview. I just spoiled myself for the book. Well, good and dandy, I suppose. Uh, let me just show you the bookmark and the uh, little art print. I don't know where this accent's come from, but we're going to speak in it right now, aren't we? Yeah, we are. That's some pretty art. I have so... <clears throat> I have so many bookmarks, and I just don't even know what to do with it, if I'm honest with you. What if I just speak in an accent all the time? Is that going to bother some of y'all? Because I, I do like talking in this accent. Do I actually have this accent? No, I surely don't. But... I mean, I've had a margarita or two. I have a very strong southern accent, I'll tell you what. But this is the book for this month. Oh, wait. <clears throat> this is the book for this month. It's the, the, the prison healer, I think I see. I thought it was supposed to be poison healer. I guess not. But Miss Mass blurbed it, and y'all already know how I feel about her, so I do think I'm going to enjoy this. Uh, it's got these sprayed edges on. You know, the cut, there you go. And then you got purple and purple. I'm going to be real honest, though. When it came to these uh, stenciled edges, I truly thought that this was, like, a mistake when I had seen it on uh, the Instagram. I thought they had just, like, not done a great job with one of them. But I suppose it's meant to be like that. I just don't quite know why. Does it mean something? I don't know what it means. I suppose I'd have to read the book, wouldn't I? So I guess I won't ask you because, first of all, I can't respond to me. Second of all, it's a brand new release. You probably haven't read it either, but we got it signed right there. Love to see that. Oh, we've got some reverse art on the uh, the dust cover right here. No, some artwork on the reverse dust cover. Cover? Am I going into a British accent now? No, I don't think so. So there's that art. And I think it's it's quite nice, honestly. Is this like a forbidden story or something? I don't know, but you know what? What's not forbidden is how beautiful this is. That is very nice. Very. Did Now, did they do this with the Kingdom of the Wicked too? Not too. I wish I had the sequel to Kingdom of the Wicked, I tell you what. But T-O-O, -O, because it looks similar. Oh, is this a map? Oh, it is. It's a map. Well, I'll be damned. That is a beautiful map. Oh, hold on. She dedicated this book to Sarah. This is to Sarah J. Mass. Thank you for being so generous with your friendship, support, and encouragement. But mostly, thank you for believing in me, even and especially when I did not. Well, that's kind of nice. That, well, that's really cool. I didn't know they were friends. I do follow one of Sarah J. Mass's friends on Instagram. She's funny. I do like her Instagram, but I did not know this friend existed. But I have heard about this one. It's been recommended for the, uh, the Patreon book club that I got going on. If y'all want to know more about that, I will link that down below. But I do believe that's all I got for you at this moment. So, uh, yeah. Without further ado, I'm going to let you go. And I, um, I'm not going to do a southern goodbye where I take eight years to actually say goodbye. I'm just going to say goodbye right now and cut myself off because I got, I mean, to be quite honest, I got some TikToks to watch before my uh, partner gets home and we can go to the actual uh, movie with my mom. I mean, we're not going out to the movie though. We're, we're, we're going to stay home, but I do miss the movie theater. I do. Anyways, ooh, I'm going to go. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
Woohoo! I look a mess. Um, <laughs> hey guys. So it is now Sunday. I didn't update yesterday because we were super busy running, I swear to God, every errand in the book. Um, we ended up taking Jake to the vet for these seizure-like things he's been having. Um, they're not grand mal seizures. That's the ones that I have. They're more um, absent seizures. So like he's there, he can see us, he recognizes us. He's just unable to walk and do everything he needs to do like usual. So we went and got it checked out and she gave us medicine to start giving to him. So we're gonna do that. It was just, honestly, it's just been like a stressful month. <laughs> and like, I can handle state testing, but as soon as I start worrying about my children, the line has been drawn. So uh, we watched a bunch of Criminal Minds last night. I did not really read too much. I did read though a little bit of each of the books that I'm aiming to finish. So I'll just give you updates on that. Um, the hand on the wall, I'm getting more into this. I've This series, I'm on only, I only read 26 pages since I last talked to y'all, but I have realized that this series is definitely gonna not be an audiobook series for me. The audiobook is just kind of boring and the way that this is written, it's not because it's a mystery. I don't think I like audiobook mysteries. I think I like audiobook thrillers because they're very quick and the writing is quick and it gets to the twists and the turns quick. But with the mysteries, they're more drawn out. It's a longer explanation. The writing's typically a different style. It's more dense, I have found. So I think the physical is the way to go with this series. If you plan to read it, I do think you should read it. The next book comes out next month, so that is exciting. But I'm gonna probably focus on this one when I get back because it is all dreary and rainy and just beautiful outside right now and it just sounds good to me. And then I also am chapter 16, what page is that? Page 156 of the X Talk. And now I actually know what this is about. So we have a our main character who is a producer at a radio show. I can't tell if it's NPR or NPR adjacent. It doesn't really matter. Then we have the hero who is um, fresh out of graduate school. Did I mention he has a master's degree? <laughs> you know what though? I just watched one of my friends get a master's degree and honestly I feel like if you put in that work you deserve to talk about it because I would say couldn't be me but I'm literally looking at master's programs like last night and the night before and the night before that so might be me in the near future could you imagine <sighs> we'll see um but they are co-workers don't really get along but it's more like a flirtation ship I don't like you, but kind of vibe, if that makes sense. And then they basically get roped into hosting a podcast together called The X Talk, where they are exes and they are talking about what went wrong, what they could have done, and just talking about relationships from the point of view of people that were working together, dated, are now exes, but remain friend friendly, but they never actually dated, so they're faking it. Um, I think that's interesting. I can already tell the drama that's gonna unfold. I also like how much social media is incorporated into this book because while I am trying to back away from social media and my phone as a whole, I do like the way that it's utilized in books sometimes. I think that it's funny and very clever. I think it is in this case. I also kind of like that mixed media break in between um, prose chapters, I guess, because it just is like a little fun tidbit to read. So that's something that I'm really liking about this one and well wow, that's it um i stopped with the audiobook of this because someone said that the narrator gets a little bit too into the steamy scenes and i don't want to hear anyone read those to begin with that's why i never listen to romance on audio it's not for me i'll never listen to sarah jamas on audio i'll never listen to straight up romance on audio i'll never listen to fantasy romance on audio it's just i could read it but i don't need someone whispering it into my ear you know uh, and now knowing that the narrator goes like a little twin to it, um, perfect to know. Thank you for sharing. We'll delete later. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, it is what? I think it's like, it just turned, yeah, it's 8.40. So I'm going to go get us 
Starbucks. I'm gonna go hunt for the family and provide breakfast. <laughs> and um, then I'm gonna come back and probably read some. And that's it. That's the plan. So, yeah. I'll see you then. I'll see you then. Or, you know what? Let's just do a montage. Should we do a montage? I think, oh, my eyes. I think a montage is the move to make. So, cue it up. World. Let's see the outside world. There he goes, the boy.
I am literally about to take a nap. Like you can straight up hear the fan in the background. And then I turn on my WFAA to see this. Let's go, Tornado Nation. Well, who am I, Jake Paul? Absolutely not. Hi guys, welcome to the Hot Mess Express. I'm your host, Olivia. And on today's episode, we're gonna talk about the fact that I am literally looking at a bunch of stationery I was supposed to haul. I'm looking at a planner I have yet to update as I need to, a desk agenda I still need to update, and oh, the book for the book club that Mel and I are hosting on Patreon. So I'm gonna mention that really quick. First of all, most importantly, truly, the emoji of the day is a turtle because I feel like a turtle um, losing my mind and going into my shell because I'm overwhelmed with the end of the school year. Senses are hard. Syntax is not here. Anyways, so, the book that we're going to be reading, this is going to be a fantasy, romance, literally anything book club. We have um, two channels, so let me just tell you before. So this is the book. Okay, love that for us. But we are doing at least two live shows, one on Mel's Patreon, one on mine, that everyone will get access to for reading sprints for this book specifically. Um, I think we're gonna have a discussion. I think that, oh, and no, we also have two channels, one on each Discord server um, for both of our patrons where you can join and talk to everybody while we're reading it. This is gonna be the book for June because Pride Month alone, full of queer characters, which is great. It gives me very much more Fae-based City of Bones vibes, so I'm very excited to read it with you guys. Um, so I'll link that at the top of the description down below if you're interested in joining. Um, I think it's just gonna be a good time all around. Um, yeah, that's, that, that's the announcement for there. I already did the emoji of the day, what else? Oh, I'm a failure. <laughs> I did not finish the books I wanted to finish because I'm me. Oh my God, it's 7 p.m. <gasps> And I'm just now filming an outro. Oh, my life is hard. Anyways, uh, it's supposed to storm by 10, so I actually really do need to hurry up and finish this so I can start editing because it usually takes me two hours and the power usually goes out when it storms, like, tornado-y. So, oh, the sprinklers just turned on for the neighborhood. Yikes. Well, they're going to be extra soggy today. But anyways, yes, we are going to go have dinner really quick, and then I'm going to edit this, but I did not finish the books. We'll be continuing both of those books into next week, and yeah, yeah, that's it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or night, wherever you are. Don't we love that I finally filmed an outro to a video? Like, who am I? The most stressed out I've ever been, but also on top of the vlogs, and yeah. I'll talk to you guys in the comments down below, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!